as the protest in Venezuela proceeds, hundreds of people have started asking for the release of students detained during the past couple of weeks, also calling for a fresh non-violent march. Venezuela's Attorney General Luisa Ortega confirmed at the beginning of this week that 13 people had died in the violence, yet the situation still continues. I had the opportunity to talk to a couple of people from Venezuela at, here at Lynn University, and this is what they had to say about the situation. It's a very complicated situation right now. Um, there's been student protests going on right now against, let's say, the government, because the government is what runs the country. So, of course, uh, protests are directed towards them. Uh, do you know anyone that is being affected with the situation? My entire family lives in Venezuela, and I have a few friends that live there also, and they're all affected by it. My friend of mine, a very close friend of mine that I used to play soccer with, lost his eye. Uh, last night in Altamira, which is a very popular place during, inside Caracas, by a small grenade that exploded in his face, that hit him in the face during the, a peaceful protest. What can the outside nations do to help with the situation? If we have other countries helping us, it's the only option that we have, because the government is not on our side. This is a fight of Venezuelans. We don't necessarily need the uh, army or people to send soldiers to Venezuela. We just need the information to be known so everybody knows what's going on and it can, and the mask from the government can be finally taken off. Uh, just media, media, media from all over the world to spread the truth, you know, and not manipulate. Just what they film is what is happening, you know. Send reporters so the information and newscast will show what's going on in Venezuela because people don't know. There are no, you put on CNN in Venezuela and it shows a cooking show. In a brief statement, what is your message to the people being affected right now? About texts that I sent my friends a couple minutes ago because they're about to go out to the streets. And what I told them was that I loved them and that I wanted them to be careful, to be smart, not to uh, fall into the aggression that's happening right now in Venezuela. People are angry, people want to fight, throw rocks, and it might be good to stand up for what you want, but not if it's gonna get you killed because at the end, if you die, you're hurting other people. So I just told them to be smart, to know where, how to pick their battles pretty much and just to be safe. As we all heard from these students from Venezuela, the situation is very delicate. Some people are still being affected. Some people are even getting killed. The least that the world can do right now is to spread the word. Let the media get involved and let everyone know and be aware of the situation. I am Energy Maburute with IPOWS Lean University here in South Florida.